Hello students. Today we discuss about preparation of oxo acids of phosphorus, argo phosphorus acid, hypo phosphorus acid, pyro phosphorus acid, phosphoric acid, metal phosphoric acid, hypo phosphorus phosphoric acid, and last one pyro phosphoric acid. H3PO3 is prepared by the hydrolysis of P4O6 or P4O6 undergoes hydrolysis undergoes hydrolysis to give H3PO3 four months four four three is a twelve Phosphorus trioxide P2O3 or P4O6. Diamond of P2O3 is P4O6. P4O6 plus 6 moles of water gives rise to H3PO3. This is about preparation of argo phosphorus acid. Next, H3PO2. First of all, phosphorus react with the concentrated sodium hydroxide. Concentrated sodium hydroxide solution to give phosphine and three moles of sodium hypophosphite. Sodium hypophosphite. H3PO2 is obtained from sodium hypophosphite. Sodium hypophosphite react with concentrated H2SO4. We get H3PO2 plus sodium sulfate Na2SO4. <coughs> NO2 SO4 2 moles of sodium hypophosphite plus H2SO4 gives rise to H3PO2 plus sodium sulfate. Here it is 2 moles of phosphorus, 2 moles. Okay, students. Sodium hypophosphite react with concentrated sulfuric acid gives rise to H3PO2. So it's a complete. Next one is H4O3. O5. Phosphorus trichloride react with H3PO5. Sorry, H3PO3. Gives rise to H4P2O5 plus HCN. Here is the 3 moles and 3 moles. Here is the 5 moles. Phosphorus trichloride react with phosphorus acid. To give H4P2O5 plus HCl. So H4P2O5 is completed. Next, uh, phosphoric acid. Phosphoric acid. Here is a P4O6. Here P4O10. Dimer of P2O5. That is P4O10. P4O10 undergoing hydrolysis. Undergoing Hydrolysis gives rise to H3PO4. H3PO4. Four months of phosphorus. Four months of phosphorus. Four threes are twelve. And six months of six months means six twos are twelve. Okay now. Four fours are sixteen. Ten plus six. Sixteen. So this is about the preparation of H3PO4 from P4O10. P4O10 dissolving water, we get H3PO4. This is complete. Next, uh, meta phosphoric acid H4P2 offset. H3PO4 that is phosphoric acid. 
phosphoric acid on heating at 500 Kelvin temperature, we get H4P2 O7 that is pyrophosphoric acid. Okay, students, H3PO4 on heating at 500 Kelvin temperature, we get H4P2 O7 that is pyrophosphoric acid. Pyrophosphoric acid on heating at 87 degree Kelvin temperature, we get HPO3 that is metaphosphoric acid, metaphosphoric acid and pyrophosphoric acid. So, orthophosphoric acid, orthophosphoric acid on heating at 500 Kelvin temperature, we get pyrophosphoric acid. Pyrophosphoric acid on heating at 873 Kelvin temperature, we get metaphosphoric acid. Last one, H4P2O6. Sodium dihydrogen hypophosphite. Sodium dihydrogen hypophosphite solution pass into the pass into the cation exchange resin. Cation exchange resin, which consists of H plus ions. So we get H4 P2O6 plus 2 moles of N plus H4 P2O6. That is hypophosphoric acid. So when sodium hypophosphite solution pass into the cationic resin we get hypophosphoric acid. So this is about preparation of phosphoric and phosphorus acids and uh, properties. Some important points of uh, or some important characteristics of phosphorus series of acids. So first one, in these oxo acids at least one OH group is attached to the phosphorus, whatever it may be, phosphorus or phosphoric. Here, example, this is H3PO3, phosphorus acid, phosphoric acid, P double bond OH. OH, OH. Okay, students. In these oxo acids, at least one OH group attached to the phosphorus. The hydrogen atom, the hydrogen atom in OH group is ionizable. Okay, the hydrogen atom in OH group is ionizable and responsible acidic nature and responsible acidic nature next phosphorus phosphorus series of acids may have pH bonds along with the pOH phosphorus series of acids may have pH bonds along with the pOH pH is responsible for reducing property. Okay, students. Phosphorus series of acids may have pH bonds and responsible for reducing property. Next. Phosphoric series of acids may not have pH bonds. Okay, students. Phosphoric series of acids may not have pH bonds, but it containing only OH bonds with phosphorus. Clear? Next. Orthophosphorus acid undergoes disproportionation on heating to give H3PO4 and pH 3 
4 moles of phosphorus acid giving rise to 3 moles of H3PO4 and pH 3. Phosphorus oxidation state 3 to the 6, that is minus 6, that is plus 3. So minus 6 plus 3, that is minus 3. Hence it causes plus 3 oxidation state. 4 to the 8, that is minus 8, and it is plus 3. Minus 8 plus 3, that is minus 5, it causes plus 5 oxidation state. Here, phosphorus to phosphorus, plus 3 oxidation state to plus 5 oxidation state. Oxidation state increases, that is oxidation reaction. Then, phosphorus to phosphorus, it is minus 3. Plus 3 to minus 3, oxidation state decreases, it is reduction. Okay, the element oxidation state plus 3 to plus 5, that is oxidation state, sorry, oxidation reaction. Plus 3 to minus 3, oxidation state decreases, hence it is reduction reaction. So, it is called as redox reactions or disproportionation reaction. H3PO3 undergoes disproportionation on heating to give phosphoric acid and pH3. It is disproportionation reaction. Next, anomalous properties of Nitrogen. Nitrogen can show anomalous properties due to due to small atomic size. Okay now. Nitrogen shows anomalous characteristics due to small atomic size. Small atomic size. And a higher higher electronegativity. Higher electronegativity. And a Lack of d orbital and tendency to form of multiple bonds that is triple bond. Okay, all these characteristics nitrogen shows anomalous properties. So, first property is nitrogen is gas, nitrogen is gas, remaining or remaining or solids. Nitrogen is gas, remaining on solids. Next, atomicity of nitrogen is 2. Atomicity of nitrogen, atomicity, atomicity of nitrogen is 2. Nitrogen 2, remaining on 4. Atomicity, what is meant by atomicity? The number of Atoms present in the given molecule is called as atomicity. Here is a nitrogen, nitrogen atoms 2, hence atomicity is 2. Remaining are 4. Atomicity of except nitrogen, remaining element atomicities are 4. Phosphorus, arsenic, antimony. Nitrogen 2, phosphorus 3, 4. Arsenic is for as before. Next. Nitrogen form only nitrogen form nitrogen form nitrogen form only P pi P pi box. Nitrogen form P pi P pi box. But remaining elements form, but remaining elements form. D pi P pi. D pi P pi. Hence, uh, they can exist as a R3P double bond O. Phosphine oxides. But does not R3N double bond O. Here, phosphine oxide can exist because of if they form D pi P pi bonds. But not N3 double bond O. Next. Nitrogen cannot show. Nitrogen cannot show. Cannot show. 
पेंटावैलेंसी पेंटावैलेंसी बट रिमेनिंग एलिमेंट्स आर शोस पेंटावैलेंसी ड्यू टू प्रेजेंस ऑफ अ डी ऑर्बिटल सो दिस इज अबाउट एनामरस प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ नाइट्रोजन वन सेकेंड एनामरस प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ नाइट्रोजन नाइट्रोजन शोस एनामरस प्रॉपर्टीज ड्यू टू स्मॉल एटॉमिक साइज हाईर इलेक्ट्रॉन एंटिटी लैक ऑफ डी ऑर्बिटल and a tendency to form of multiple bonds nitrogen is gas remaining or solids atomicity of nitrogen nitrogen 2 remaining or 4 nitrogen form p pi p pi bonds but remaining elements form d pi p pi bonds hence r3 p double bond can exist but not r3 n double bond nitrogen cannot show pentavalency but remaining element shows पेंटा बैलेंस ड्यू टू आर प्रेजेंस ऑफ डी ऑर्बिटल थैंक यू चला